Hey everybody, Christopher here with the Triangle Haunters, and I am putting the final touches on a video, it's actually the one that you're currently watching, um, for a lighting technique that I think some Haunters might find um, interesting and useful. And the reason I say some Haunters is that this is not necessarily a technique that uh, is used to light up a certain prop or light up a certain area, well it is to light up a certain area, but not to be not seen with the naked eye. Um, this is actually a technique that Ann and I used to use when we were active paranormal investigators. And I made this video about eight years ago kind of demonstrating this um, this technique and what it's what it really is. It's for um, people who are haunters that have a walkthrough haunt and use an infrared camera to capture uh, the scares where people, you know, walking or running through their haunts. And what this will do is actually light up an area a lot better than some infrared lights will. Um, so again, like I said, I made this video about eight years ago, so the audio really isn't all that great, but it, you'll at least get to see the dem a demonstration of the camera with the, uh, with the, using infrared LEDs and using what I call the poor man's infrared light. So without further ado, I present to you the poor man's infrared light. Hi everybody, my name is Christopher Presley and I am the tech manager of North American Demonic Paranormal as well as the co-founder of PB&J Paranormal. And the reason I'm here is to demonstrate a new lighting technique uh, that can be utilized during paranormal investigations um, when used in conjunction with video cameras that have um, night vision capabilities. And as we all know that when utilizing uh, video cameras with the night vision technology, um, the infrared lighting that comes equipped in the camera just isn't enough to, to do the type of investigating that we need. So one of the things that we do is we add on infrared lights. For example, like this Sony H, what is it, HVL IRM, um, which has eight, LED, eight additional LEDs that um, has a dial on it that you can control how brighter or <clears throat> how intense the, the uh, infrared light is. But I'm sure as we've all found out before that sometimes this just isn't enough. We need a little bit more. And instead of going out and buying, spending, you know, 60 to 90 dollars for an additional light that's got 36, 58 different, uh, you know, infrared LEDs, there is a lesser expensive way of getting almost the same effect. And it's real, actually, very simple to do. What you do is you go to Walmart or your local hardware store or Target or whatever, uh, and you buy one of these. What this is, is this is a, a, a reflector. Um, it's just basically your incandescent light socket, um, metal, dome, a clamp, so that you can clamp it onto to whatever you want to. Um, and I mean, that's pretty much it. This right here at Walmart cost me $6.95 plus tax. Um, but then what you would use inside this would be one of these. And what this is, this is a black, your uh, incandescent black light bulb. Um, around, you know, Halloween time, these become more readily available. You know, at Walmart, I picked this up for a dollar. You know, Target, I've seen it for a dollar. Dollar Tree, stuff like that. So I generally go out and stock up on these, you know, that time of year. But anyways, um, like I said, you just uh, attach these two things together. You can clamp it to the tripod, like I'm going to do for this demonstration, or just clamp it someplace out of the way uh, and utilize this for uh, more light. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to attach the reflector light and the Sony infrared light. I'm going to do a little demonstration. You'll see the um, infrared on the camera. You'll see the infrared with the um, Sony light and then you'll see the infrared with the um, incandescent black light. Um, just this way you can see the, the various uh, levels of, of light in the room. So give me a minute. I'll have these uh, connected and then we'll be ready to go dark. So I'll be right back. Okay, now, as 
as you can see from this picture, we've got the um, infrared light on the top of the camera as well as the uh, incandescent black light attached to the tripod, clipped onto the tripod underneath. And like I said, for this demonstration, it's going to be on the tripod, but when you're utilizing it, it can be clamp clamped anywhere. Um, but we're now ready to go dark, so I'm going to go flip out all the lights and we'll get started with the demonstration. Now, as you can see, um, there's like little to no light at all in here. Um, the video camera can't pick up on anything, and that's because the infrared light or the infrared filter hasn't been um, turned on yet on the, on the video camera. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to step out of the shot so that you can basically get a good idea of um, just exactly how much light level there is instead of me being in the picture and it being so bright. So uh, I'm about to turn on the, uh, the filter. Okay, so what you're seeing right now is just the infrared lights that are on the camera itself. There's only two of them. You can kind of see into the room fairly decent. Um, there are some areas that are a little darker than others, and you can't quite see all the way down into the into the kitchen, but you can, you can see some uh, into the kitchen. Now, when I turn on the Sony infrared light, all of a sudden you can see a little bit more. It's a little bit brighter. Um, again, you know, I can adjust the, the brightness or I can, you know, turn down the brightness with it um, to, uh, you know, to give us more light or, or, or less light. Now, um, these are the two levels using inf the infrared lights. Now I'm going to turn on the incandescent black light and you're going to see the difference of, of light levels that you're going you're gonna to get when you utilize this, uh, this technique. Now, as you can see, you've got a lot more light into the room. Um, you can actually see down, all the way down into the kitchen. Um, you've just got that much more light that's coming in that you can see in the camera. However, um, in the room itself, there's little to no light at all. So when you're conducting an investigation inside this, uh, inside this room, there won't be any uh, visual anomalies that you would, you would pick up with the naked eye. <clears throat> but this, in a nutshell, is the incandescent light, um, that incandescent black light with the reflector. Um, we use this on a lot of our investigations now just to give us this much more light, um, and we don't have to go out and, and you know, purchase the, uh, the more expensive um, infrared lights when we go out and to investigate. So I cut the end of the video off uh, simply because it had information about the paranormal team and everything and since Ann and I have taken a sabbatical from the team and we don't even have the websites up anymore um, you know I didn't really think it was all that important so uh, so that's why I cut it off but you saw in the video <clears throat> the differences that you got from using just your regular LED infrared lights and your uh, and the incandescent black light bulb um, and for, like I said, under $10, uh, uh, you know, a setup, you could put two or three of them in one location to really give yourself a lot of light, and you're not going to break the bank. Um, and like I said in the video, the because you're using an incandescent black light, it doesn't really give off a whole lot of, of purple light, but uh, it, it might give off a little, you know, the more you use, obviously, it, you might get a little bit more. And it just adds to the ambiance of the area that you're trying to light up. Your guests don't really know that you're really doing it to uh, to give your cameras more light to pick up. So, um, you know, like I said, I thought this might be something interesting for you know my fellow haunters who have walkthroughs. Um, you know, so I hope you know you learned something or found a new technique that you know you can use in your haunt, and you know that I hope you have good results with it. Um, so thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. You know, and as always, if you liked what you saw, please like, share, and uh, the video, and, and please feel free to subscribe to my channel. Um, hoping to have a few more videos come out here within the next couple of months. Um, but other than that, um, I guess I will see you guys on the next one. 
And until then, have a good one. <laughs> Peace. Deuces.